what's up it's your girl cali brat back at it with another video so you guys today i'm thinking about making the video kind of just about cooking and i'm really into the idea of cooking turkey burgers i did it once on ig live and i wanted to do it again um just to show you guys a more in-depth version of doing my turkey burgers i actually am going to tweak it up a little bit the last time i did them i did them in the air fryer and i did not like them um they were just a little too dry for me so i'm like okay i'm looking forward to making them again and making them a lot more moist you know so today to get started you guys um we are actually going to start with um i didn't do the dishes I cleaned the house for the sake of this video. I cleaned the kitchen. So actually, let me get started with doing these dishes. And then after that, we're going to get into doing some nice bomb turkey hamburgers. Are y'all with me? Jump into it, y'all. I do want to give y'all a little bit of backstory on my day and why, you know, um, I'm a little bit more calm and collected today. So I came to a realization. And this is just food for thought for the day, which is interesting because you guys, as you guys know, we're about to cook. Um, but food for thought for the day would be that, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't start. And um, if you don't, if you keep making excuses for yourself, you're not going to get anywhere. Um, so, and that's something I have to tell myself in, for example, with YouTube and I had to, you know, I've done so much and I feel like I still haven't really mastered what I wanted to do on YouTube. And I'm like, mm, I'm, I'm so iffy about what to put out on YouTube because I'm like, is that, you know, so, and I'm looking for perfection and I just want to say really just looking for perfection in whatever you're doing, you know. That's good because you have standards for yourself, but it's bad because you're holding yourself back and don't even know it. Sometimes you need to bump your head so a couple of times so you can understand and then and learn from those experiences. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get into these turkey burgers. Okay, y'all. She don't be stopping music. Alexa, stop music. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So. So right now, oh, I forgot some of the seasonings. But so I took a little moment after I washed my dishes and I kind of got into the idea of just preparing myself. Um, so I got everything I need. So let's start with the buns. I got the buns. I got the buns. So okay, I got some wheat buns right here. Um, they really should have been brioche, but it's okay. These will do. Um, and then I have my potatoes for the fries i have my salt i have my crushed red pepper and i need some oregano okay y'all let's get right into it so first thing first we're gonna start with our turkey which apparently i forgot to grab so i'm gonna get that but get this thing together okay so y'all i organized my kitchen no not the kitchen i organized the fridge probably like a week ago and i've already kind of like i don't know like i'm just i feel like everything needs to be organized and this needs to be done darn it. but i'm very much feeling like that bitch more that big you know what i'm saying i've never felt like that before so i'm super super excited about that and just getting myself all the way organized you know um i feel like it's a little overdue um my kitchen has been too messy Okay, so let's jump right into it. I need like a bowl or something. Let me get myself a bowl. Y'all, I found these really cute teal, um, these really cute teal bowls actually at um, Ross. I think it was Ross. And I was like, yo, those, that's the color of my kitchen. And you know what's funny is I think I was broke that day and I was like, bro, you know what? I'm fuck, I'm getting these because they're teal. And they're exactly what I needed. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to wash my hands one more time because ever since I worked at Starbucks, people aren't as clean as you think they are, you know what I mean? But I really wanna try to put my best foot forward and be as clean as I could be. So um, once I wash my hands, we're gonna jump right in. But in the meantime, how was your day, y'all? Everything Gucci? Everything good? You know, just cooking at home. 
Like, this is enough. I haven't always been that type of bitch, but I've recently kind of become that type of bitch because, like, quarantine was just too much for me. Um, and I don't know. I just come to the realization that after quarantine, I really don't need to be out like that. Like, what's out? Like, I'm good. Like, I have more fun at home. Y'all, this is some thick ass. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm working with. This is some thick ass turkey. So, um, so right now I'm kind of putting the turkey. I'm using the same thing as I did the other day. This is literally the same thing I had the other day, except for I'm trying to make it a little bit more juicy. So because of that, I think I'm gonna skillet it this time. I'm gonna skillet the turkey patties. I'm a little scared because I've never really skilleted turkey patties before. Um, but there's the first time for everything, right y'all? Okay, y'all, so I pretty much have all the turkey in here. Um, let's just kind of see. Let's do a weight test of the turkey. Okay, y'all, so I think this is eight ounces. Let's see. Let's check and see. So I'm putting it on ounce. It was on grams. So I'm putting it on ounce right now. I think this is eight ounces, though. Yeah, it's 8.25. So it's like eight and some change. Um, so now let's get, let's get our one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So I have my olive oil and it says one and a half tablespoons. So let me grab my tablespoon and we're going to pour. Oh y'all, I just got these today from Ross. I was like, these are going to be so cute. Like I kind of want my kitchen to look like that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like that bitch lives here. She knows how to cook. You know, she knows how to throw down. So that's one and a half. So this is, y'all can't see shit. So, um, but I did one and a half. And then I'm going to, my two tablespoons of fresh chopped oregano. So this is where we're about to pour the oregano. But yeah, y'all, it's so weird to me that I decided I wanted to start cooking on the internet because I, growing up, I used to never cook. Like, I was never, like, the one that was in the kitchen with the fam, like, cooking. Like, I was never that girl. It's so funny because here I am today, and I was here trying to cook. But, I like, the thing is, is that, like, even though I don't know how to throw down, throw down, and I don't know, like, any of my mom's, like, recipes by heart, I do know how, I've always known how to prepare food. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always known how to prepare my own food. Meaning, like, anything that you get from Trader Joe's that kind of is already, like, pre-made and all you got to do is skillet it. Bitch, that's pre-made food. You know, don't be lying to y'all selves. Do y'all know how to cook? So, you know, um, that's what I'm learning online with y'all. So, if y'all see me do some funny-ass shit, let a bitch know. Lately, my food, though, has been pretty good it's been pretty good um it doesn't say anything about pepper i don't know why i brought pepper um okay so now let's go into because that was our one fourth tablespoon of salt well actually funny story about this and i never thought i would need this i never used garlic like that until i started cooking more and i noticed garlic was in more recipes and i was like garlic is hidden in everything ah Y'all, is this how this is supposed to go? So, I've been just cutting it like this. This is what I mean by funny shit, y'all. Like, I'm, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Is this really how you're supposed to do it? And then, so I've been just sucking the life out of it. Let me know if I'm doing this wrong. So, I suck the life out of it. I don't know if y'all can see how I've been doing my garlic cloves. So, if I'm doing them wrong, let me know. And then, ooh, the garlic is going everywhere, y'all. Hold up. See, I feel like I should do another garlic. This is crazy. I'm really fucking cooking. Okay. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Okay. Got a lot of garlic. I'll do it. Just because that was kind of fun. So what got me into cooking on live? Honestly, it's just like the only time like I really feel like I'm doing something to show y'all. If you ever doing anything in the house or, you know, anything worth showing you guys but I feel like my recipes are rather interesting because um I do recognize that like I try to eat a little bit lighter than everybody else well I wouldn't say everybody else but you know what I'm trying to say 
I feel like I eat lighter than majority. I can say that. I can honestly say I feel like I eat lighter than the majority. So um, because of that, I feel like my food choices are rather interesting to some. And people always ask me, they're like, well, how do you stay fit but then eat what you want? I'm going to show you how I'm going to stay relatively fit and eat what the fuck I want. You know what I'm saying? I can show you that there's a way to do what you want to do just making smarter decisions for your body you don't have to sacrifice um you don't have to be so strict on yourself but you can live a little bit and then you could cut back a little bit it's like all in moderation so that's kind of why i was so pressed to learn how to cook on live so you guys can kind of understand a little bit more of that side of me and just being more health conscious <laughs> i should say just a little bit Especially about the kitchen. Okay, y'all. So, I got all this stuff mixed up in here. Y'all really cannot see, huh? Well, I got everything mixed up in here. And I'm about to just mix it all up. Okay? I'm about to mix it all up. It's so funny, though, because growing up, even though I wasn't the one hanging out with my mom in the kitchen for, like, holidays cooking with her, I was always the um, one watching, like, food channels and food networks and I think I just like the like the talk shows type of vibe they have like so I would just watch them cook food notice this is the time when I'm probably like the calmest I just like to do stuff so this is like perfect busy work okay so um I feel like there's so much seasoning on one side so oh my gosh y'all my hands are so messy yeah I feel like we gotta break it down break it down, but down. Okay. Y'all, I'm having a little bit too much fun with this. But he didn't like the meat last time. Maybe this is why. <laughs> but yeah. It's so funny because the house is so messy. Other than the kitchen right now. And you guys would never guess. <laughs> because I clean the kitchen. I always tell people, listen. If you're not the cleanest person in America... Just clean the kitchen and the bath because people are always judging your bathroom and your kitchen, you know, because they're judging if they want to eat there, if they get hungry, or if they're going to, you know, want to use the bathroom. Like, make it kind of clean. I've been in situations where I went to people's homes and they, they, there's nothing wrong with their home, but that bathroom just wasn't even, just clean the bath. And if you're not going to clean the whole thing, clean a part of it. Okay, so let's turn the measuring thing back on. Okay, and we I have it on set on out. What we're gonna do is we're just kind of being mindful of our portion. Um, so this is this is 4.3, this is 4.18. Okay, so I'll be little patty, he can be big patty. So this is big patty, and I've never really seen how this is supposed to go, but I'm just gonna ball it up like so and just you know, and I think I mixed it well this time. I feel like the last time I didn't mix it too well. And I don't know what you're supposed to get. Because he was talking shit last time. He was like, can I get enough enough that's going to be able to cover my whole bread? He was like, because that was a thick ass piece of meat. He was talking hella shit. He was talking hella shit. And I just don't want to hear it again. You can't bump your head two times. Okay? I, I heard it the first time. Now I got to show him. Hey, y'all. As I'm getting this together, let's talk about goals and dreams. Talk about that. Because that lately, that's been my favorite topic because it gives you purpose. Yeah, one more. It gives you so much purpose. Like, when you sit and you talk about your goals, like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, don't you kind of get, like, a sense of more purpose than you did before? Because I know I do. When you have a goal and you wake up with a purpose, don't you just feel like, okay, I can conquer the day because I know that my this, this, and this, and something that's going to make you so happy is coming like that's how it is for me so it's like and it gives you purpose within your day and also i've noticed when you believe in something and a capability of yourself i've noticed you're more confident when you don't believe in yourself for certain things when you don't believe in yourself period because it's really a period thing if you don't believe in yourself it's gonna be a lot harder for you to be confident because you don't even believe in the things that you want to do so why the fuck is anybody else going to believe in the things that you said that you want to do if you're not going to do it? Does that make sense? Anyways, y'all, I feel like I'm going off on a rant. 
um, let me get my life together. So next is I'm gonna grab a pan. I'm going to, well actually, do I wanna air fry? Hey, Anthony, do I wanna air fry the turkey burgers or do I wanna skillet them? How long do I skillet turkey burgers? I be so forgetful these days, it's not even cute. Okay, so let's get right on into it. Um, get right on into it. I need to cut up these potatoes. So weird though because I don't normally make potatoes or anything like that. So this is just this is a little different for me, but I'm definitely down to try some a little diff, a little diff. So last time though, I um I air fried the turkey burgers and then I um how do you say I fried the potatoes, I put them in oil, whatever, right? I did that and then and then I was like, bro, why the fuck did I do that when I could have air fried? The french fries. You know what I'm saying? Because the french fries, I don't want all that oil on my fucking food. Y'all, we're trying to cut calories here. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. I don't think he understands how annoying it is to uh, cut the... You don't like the skin? Fuck. Oh. And, you know, I'm about to really kick his ass. Y'all, I went to the studio yesterday, and I felt like I just have not been an artist and I'm just, I don't know how I feel about that. I have not written anything. I haven't, I haven't been singing. Like it's crazy. Like sometimes I feel like I'm losing my, my touch and ability. But then I'm like, nah nigga, it's not, it's not on you, it's in you. So then I start reminding myself of like, you know, like it's okay to lose touch of like your writer side from time to time. Like, but I am a little heartbroken at the fact that I went to the studio and I just, I felt like, damn, like, I, do I even do music? Y'all, these are some thick ass french fries. So, okay, I was thinking if I keep making french fries, I think that I'm going to have to invest in a french fry cutter because ain't nobody fucking doing this all day. This is some shit. So, y'all, like, and I feel like I'm losing my artistry. Just a little bit. Have y'all ever felt like that? Like, you're losing your touch to something because you haven't done it in so long speaking of beginning again y'all i just started working out at home for the second time and it's actually not that bad um i've been getting into what's that girl's name um mad fit and i think i really like what she's been doing to me like you know i used to be with um chrissy cella on um youtube she has a YouTube and then she has an app, right? So I used to do um, Chrissy Chella's app. And I just, you know, it was too... Y'all should try the app. If you've never tried the app and you want to get into weightlifting, I would recommend you try the app. Um, Chrissy Chella's Tone and Sculpt. Or I think she changed it to Evolve You. But the thing is is that i feel like the app really put weight on me like well not the app but i feel like the workouts on the app made me gain some weight and i just i don't know if that's what i was trying to do okay, so they were good if you don't know what you're doing in the gym i would really advise you if you don't know what to do in the gym can you take that conversation to the room i would really advise you if you don't know what you're doing in the gym to use the evolve you by chrissy chella's app it's really really good Ow. Do we want no brown, do, we don't want a brown potato, do we? So, yeah, y'all, like I was saying though, like, I don't know. I feel like I could get back into it with music, but I feel like also like when I was writing a lot, I feel like I was in a very different space, you know? Um, I feel like I was in a place where I was just, it was very dark. Um, there wasn't much light at the end of the tunnel, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, there wasn't that much to, that's why I feel like I used to write so much because it would be my escape. And so because of that, I feel like I just used to get really into um, just writing as an escape. I would look forward to my writing sessions after work. I never really had like support for my music. Um, I never really had anybody tell me, oh, like, oh, you have what it takes to make it. Oh, like, nobody's ever told me any of that. And I just kind of, like, started doing my own thing anyway. In fact, my friends, I used to send them voice memos, and they used to laugh at my little voice memo. <laughs> they used to fucking laugh at my voice memos and talk shit. But, you know, 
I'm gonna give this shit a try. I'm gonna start with some cooking videos, something that I'm a little bit warmer up to. And then if you guys wanna see more, I'm willing to offer more. But like, you know, as far as vlogging my life right now, like I feel like y'all don't really wanna see that. Y'all, this is not getting brown. Okay, now they're starting to get the about the color. They're starting to pop out. They're starting to pop out just a little bit. Let's talk about Instagram. Um, I know Instagram has been it's been something I've been wanting to grow forever. And I just could never get myself to be consistent enough. So there was this one time I saw my, my cousin and she told me, she was like, you know, if you ever want to start a, a habit it takes 27 days to develop it a habit but with every time i wanted to do something i'd be like well if you do it for 27 days it might become a habit so by just posting on building a brand on youtube instagram tiktok all of them let's flip these babies over shop flip them over let's set a timer because i know broiling is normally ain't nothing but a minute you know what i'm saying Okay, these are looking a lot better, a lot more crispy. I think there was just too much of them in there. Okay, so I have those broiling. Um, I need to cut up this onion. So let me cut up this onion real quick, just so I can get this shit out the way, so I can stop saying I'm gonna cut this onion. But um, if you guys like videos like this, let me know. But um, okay, that's good. I try the French fries. See now he all up in the business. If you want to know what's going on. I mean, but I just listen. I'm not doing this a third time. I just almost damn near burned the fucking house down. Ain't no way. What I was trying to get to before all this craziness with the food happened is give yourself 27 days of trying to do exactly what you say you want to do. Start thinking about my seasonings for my French fries. This bitch. They're about done. So what I'm gonna do with this feta though, let me just show y'all real quick. I'm gonna place the feta. I'm gonna place the feta on the um on the bread like this. And I'm gonna just press it in. Oh shit. Just like that. And same, do the same with the other side. And you probably won't be able to press it because um the bread this time is toasted. Last time I was able to press it because the bread and uh, now I'm gonna scissor that. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Let's season these crunchy fries. I'm not about to do the most. So I'm about to do um, onion salt. I think I have some onion salt actually. Onion salt. Cause I need some onion salt. For right now, I'm about to just use some onion and some salt. Let me do some paprika. Okay, well we don't have that much paprika, but. I thought this was the seasoning we made the other day. I need oregano. Where's my oregano? Where is the oregano? Oh, here it is. Put some oregano. I need some thyme, some basil, some black pepper. Okay. And what else? Cayenne pepper. And then what else are we missing? I feel like I'm missing thyme and basil thyme basil where are you thyme basil basil i know because these fries are gonna be so fucking fire where the thyme at where the thyme at where the where the where the thyme at i found the thyme i'm just gonna add a little bit he's rushing me y'all so i feel very fresh okay so but yeah y'all so i'm gonna show y'all dinner when it's done because i showed y'all the process and how I'm doing it, ooh, and then you just gotta shake it up. Shake. I think I just got a fry that had too much salt. I threw salt on the fries. I don't think I just happened to bite into that one. But other than that, it's really good. I never really made french fries before. I think everything looks better on a smaller plate for the potatoes. And I totally should not have, but uh, what's not okay though, it's not getting no fucking ketchup when I want some damn ketchup. Come on, give me some ketchup. All right, y'all. So I'm about to eat. I'm going to holler at y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. 
And now we're about to stare at this glamorous burger before I eat her.